Hello to all of you. So in previous lecture, we discussed about three cases: intermediate, upstream, and downstream. Clear? So in this lecture, we discuss about three cases. Otherwise, we can say that method of independent variable or free correction. Clear? So in this case, we have numbers of pi, which up, upstream side as well as downstream side as well as intermediate. Pi. Clear? And the floor has some thickness. So Khosla has solved there is this uh, theory by some empirical method that called a method of independent variable. So this method is consist of complex profile into numbers of simple means the profile which is divided into simple profile. So we can easily calculate and then he applied various types of correction formula of thickness, interference of pi and flow. Clear? So there are three cases. So that complex profile shown in figure broken up to the simple profile at the pressure keys point optic. That first one straight floor with a negligible thickness with pile at the upstream end. The same one at a downstream end and the third one intermediate point. Clear? So this is a uh, profile at the, the three pile is given first one upstream then second one intermediate third one downstream. So there are three corrections. First one correction for mutual interference of pi, correction of thickness, correction due to sloping flow. So the first correction thickness of flow. So the pile is given, uh, there are three types of pi locations. First one upstream, second one intermediate, then third one downstream pi. So first one we consider upstream pi. So the flow is moved to which direction? D to C. Clear? So the Formula correction for C is equals to phi D minus phi C divided by D into T. D means depth of pile, T means thickness, mean thickness of upstream side. Clear? And that pressure at a C1, which is a positive, means the correction is positive. So the pressure is equals to phi C1 is equals to that which one you calculate by upstream section, upstream cases, that phi c plus that correction. Then, so what is the value which is uh, we calculate from the upstream case which is 30 and the correction is 2 percent. So 30 plus 2, 30 means that called phi c and 2 means that correction. So 30 plus 2 that called 30. Then, same to same pi at intermediate end. So that correction for E and correction for C. So phi E minus phi D divided by D into T. Same to same correction for C when flow goes to D to C. So phi D minus phi C divided by D into T. Same is for correction E pressure at C1. So phi E is equals to phi E minus correction. But for phi C pressure C one is equals to phi c plus that connection. Clear? So please remember that in intermediate point, at E point, the correction is minus. But at a C point, the correction is positive, means additive. And for E, that called a subtractive. But in, uh, in your exam, uh, most of the case, the uh, upstream pile and downstream pile is given. But rarely, intermediate pile examples are asked by the exam authority. Same to same downstream end. So the flow is gone from E to D. So correction is equals to phi E minus phi D divided by D into T. Clear? So for the pressure at E1, so phi E minus correction means upstream. For upstream, the correction is positive, but for downstream, the correction is negative. Clear? Please remember this thing, which is very important. 
then second correction correction for the mutual interference of flow so please remember this is the most important thing when the two pile is given like upstream pile or intermediate pile otherwise intermediate pile or downstream pile otherwise third case upstream and downstream is given so that time mutual interference of flow correction which is calculated but where upstream pile is only given or downstream pile is only given in your example so then no need to correct mutual interference of flow then please remember this thing which is very important so this is a basic formula to find out mutual interference of flow 19 under root d divided by b dash bracket d plus d divided by b so this is a formula to find out this correction so what is the capital d and what is the small d clear capital d means when we uh, cal calculate for upstream case so the upstream depth of pile which is capital and remaining one means downstream side of pile which is small clear and as for the diagram, we can easily show that what is the B and what is the B. Then, then correction. So the correction is positive for upstream side. The second correction, which is correction due to mutual interference of pi. So this is positive for upstream side and subtractive for downstream. Last correction, correction for flow. So in this correction. The correction is the correction is negative for upstream side and the correction for downstream side is positive in reverse correction for slope is in reverse done so the pressure third correction the pressure below sloping flow may be greater or less than the under of horizontal that's why the correction for slope is provided clear so these are the correction which is required to calculate uplift pressure so first of all how can you calculate so first method you find out first alpha then after lambda then after upstream cases so you can find out phi e phi b clear or phi three there are three key point clear that phi d or phi c for upstream case then and for downstream case that phi phi e and phi then again you apply the correction there are two correction first one correction due to thickness then correction due to mutual interference of phi then you will get a final correction or final pressure at e point or at c point then so let's start example So determine uplift pressure at the given point EDC clear of the intermediate pi as shown in figure. So this case is first case for intermediate pi using Hosler here. So we can easily calculate B1, B2, and what is the B that called 40 meter? Then head is given 4 meter and D is equal to given 5.5. So first of all, you calculate alpha one for both alpha for both sides, b one side and b two side. So alpha one equals to b one by d, and for alpha two is equals to b two by. D. And then again, you find out lambda and lambda. So how can you find? So this is the formula one plus under root one plus alpha one square plus under root one plus alpha two square divided by d. same is for lambda one, but plus there in the lambda one, the plus will be changed in minus. So we get. Lambda and lambda one clear. So we put this value in this first case. So what is the formula? E equals to h upon pi cos inverse lambda one minus one divided by lambda. So we have head which is four pi cos inverse. We have lambda one minus 0.875 minus one divided by 37.8 and multiply pi by one. So we get two point double c. This is a uplift pressure at E point. Same to same C point. So the formula is given minus 2 plus. Simple. As upon by cos inverse lambda 1 plus 1 divided by lambda. So put all these values in this equation. So we get 
1.96 meter. Same to same PD edge upon pi cos inverse lambda one divided by lambda. So we get PD 2.30. So these are the three formula. So these are the three point when we calculate uplift pressure. Done. So the next one, which is the combinations of upstream side as well as downstream side. Here. So this example we will discuss in next session. Clear? So basically in this uh, case we calculate both side upstream side as well as downstream side. Then after we calculate the pressure at each point E D C clear whenever which uh, point is given like in upstream side there are two point and downstream side again there are two point. D D is common for upstream side that C point main point is C. And for downstream side, the main point is e. clear. So you can cal cal calculate phi C and phi E. Then after you apply the correction, done. First correction, correction due to thickness. Second correction, correction due to mutual interference. Clear? Then we can cal uh, get easily uplift pressure up at the upstream side as well as downstream side. Done. Thank you. Thank you for attention.